Federal agencies have clarified that some of the policies related to COVID vaccine coverage will continue beyond the end of the COVID national public health emergency. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services intends that national COVID public health emergency to end on May 11th, 2023. They're issuing some of these guidelines and frequently asked questions to help clarify some of the policies that have been in place these last three years because they are tied to the public health emergency designation. It was actually the CARES Act back in 2020 that produced some of the vaccine requirements we have in place to this day. The CARES Act required health plans to cover CDC-recommended COVID vaccines without cost sharing. In fact, coverage for a particular vaccine had to begin 15 business days after the CDC recommended it. It was then President Trump in November of 2020 that issued additional regulations that expanded some of the protections for consumers. In November of 2020, there were rules that required health plans to provide vaccine coverage even if a vaccine was obtained out of network. After the end of the COVID public health emergency, vaccine coverage does continue. The CARES Act section requiring vaccine coverage does not expire on May 11th of 2023. It does continue into the future. Those November 2020 regulations, however, will end after the end of the COVID public health emergency, which means COVID vaccines will not necessarily be covered and completely free if they are obtained out of network. If you go out of network for a vaccine, you may be charged a copay or have a prior authorization requirement. Now, there is an exception. That is, if a COVID vaccine is not available in your current network, then you may be able to go out of network and get that COVID vaccine. We linked to some of that guidance from those federal agencies clarifying COVID policies after the end of the public health emergency in the description below.